Okay, so I'm making this video. Um, just replaced a EGR valve on a 2008 Ford F-150. It's a 4.6 V8. And I'm putting this video up because this is a little different than a lot of the other ones I looked at on YouTube when I was researching this. Uh, this is your EGR valve here. Exhaust line comes in here. Valve opens and closes. And I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a little pipe inside of there. And what I want to point out to you is that that pipe is part of this bracket right here. So if you're having a hard time breaking off, off this nut and the one behind it, these two bolts, excuse me, uh, these just go into plastic and there's a little insert like these that it threads into. And these came off real easy and that let me put this thing in a vise where I could break these off because they were pretty tough. The other one that is a little more difficult to do is this one. Uh, that is a 1 and 1 16th inch size. I couldn't get it with a crescent wrench. I had to borrow a wrench from someone. So if you have a wrench like that laying around, then uh, you'll be good to go. But a lot of them showed, a lot of the other videos showed a big, uh, you know, throttle body intake that you can take apart and you can clean the ports and put it back together. Uh, that's not the case on this one. Uh, I pulled my old one off, and like I said, this pipe right here goes all the way through to this bracket. And in my case, it was not plugged, so I had to just go ahead and replace the EGR valve. This is all that the all of the throttle body. It's all electronic, as you can see. There's no cables on this, and the intake <clears throat> intake down here. This is all plastic. Um, and I thought at first I was going to have to replace the intake, uh, but I was able to get everything apart and broke loose. So if you're working on a 2008 4.6 Ford F-150, I hope this video helps you. I sure would have liked to have known it going in. Uh, thanks for watching.